about that, sweetie. Here's Aylin weighing in, getting ready for her training session. Dialing in her correct weight was difficult because I had to deal with not only finding out what that ideal weight was, but I had to deal with non-responsive because of her insecurities and lack of confidence. The following clips are pretty much where Aylin left off at the end of her first season with me. And she certainly did improve compared to when I first got her. So I'd had her just about three months here. And you could see that she will come for about six feet, but ask her any further and she either refuses or as in this clip, you can see after a little bit of begging, she does finally come. But when she does come, she just comes and snatches this tidbit right off the glove and keeps going. This is generally an indication that her weight is too high. Then I'm going to call her to the lure. She never does come to the lure, as she should. However, the rest of the video shows her second season, and I think you will agree that you will see a very much improved Aylin. I think we have a little rock star on her hand. She is just killing it already. Her first real training session. So... What a good girl. So I just kind of did a little test. I also have the GoPro on. See if um, she would carry. She, and she might, but it shouldn't seem like it right now. But I just wanted to see what she would do on the ground. She doesn't seem, I mean, she's looking around as she should. But, you know, unlike Finley, he just like buries his face because nothing bad's ever happened to him. So we're just gonna work on that. She doesn't seem, she's not mantling. Good girl. What a good girl. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm gonna have to get another microtransmitter. She's not even scared. Sitting there with the biggest booby ever, holding on to her leftover mouth, watching the world go by. Unbelievable. What a change. She's blossomed into a real kestrel. Did you see herself? Who's that pretty girl? I cannot believe how good she did. She did really good. And that's what she gets when she's a good girl. And she knows it. So she's got a good grip on her lure. She grabbed it straight away. I wasn't sure she was going to do anything. I should have had the crayons all lined out. I honestly didn't think she would do anything. But she sure did prove me wrong. So I think I'm gonna have to get me another microtransmitter. So hopefully, did you save your allowance all, all summer long? You know, yeah. Hopefully she saved her allowance. We need to get her a new microtransmitter because I think she's gonna need it. So yeah, I'm gonna fly her hard. If I can get, I think I'm gonna get her off the line. She was, she was like a proper kestrel, you know, focused. And I did a little test to see if she would carry. I didn't see anything that indicated that she would. Um, she might, but you know, if it's the real thing. But yeah, I'm pretty proud of her at this minute. I, I This is the best I've ever seen her. This is her first tr real live training session. Um, so I think there might be hope for her. She deserves it. Okay, I'm gonna get the lure out because she's definitely switched off. I gave her some huge tidbits. That was a mistake, but I made them big for some reason. Aylin! Good girl! There she goes. Look at that good girl. So I set her up for some success. Now we're going to do a lure. She's going to go all the way. Okay, we got Aylin. She was doing really well, and then she just kind of switched off. I don't know if something bothered her, or you know, it could have been something to do with the big tidbits I've given her. Because it doesn't take much to fill up this little girl. Um, let me see, how far? 11, 12 meters. Came to the lure, took her some time. She came to the lure, and then just as she was about to land, she veered off. Like she, I don't know, maybe like she was spooked or something. So there's still confidence issues, obviously. 
However, having said all that, um, where this bird is right now on only her third training day um, this season, she is miles ahead of where she dropped off last season after four months at um, the end of her season. I really didn't have a whole lot of, I mean, obviously I had hope for her, but I didn't have a whole lot of faith in that hope. But I think there's something there this year. So she's really kind of settled in, gotten her confidence and acting like a proper kestrel. This is a training session early in her second season, and I'm still trying to dial in her actual ideal weight. Here on this day, it was determined that she was clearly overweight. So I started uh, understanding her behavior as her confidence got up and she started behaving like a normal kestrel, I could dial in her weight a little bit more. And ultimately, I did finally get a good range. She caught a grasshopper. Aylan just caught a grasshopper. Oh, and then there she, I know, go up there. Good girl. She's on the crayons, but I want it to be as natural as possible. Come here, sweetie. Come here. I want you to get stuck. Good girl. Come here. Good girl. Good girl. She caught a grasshopper by herself. <laughs> So I was doing some crayons work with her and I saw a grasshopper just like literally right there. And so I called her to the fish real fast and then flushed it and she got it. Well, it went down and got it and then she got it or she thought she got it. You could see her little foot was all curled. And then I reflushed it and she went over there and she got it. She caught a grasshopper. I think this is the first thing she's caught since she was wild trapped over four years ago. She caught a grasshopper! Yay! Tell everybody, say grasshopper slayer. Not only that, but she came to the crayons like farther than she ever has. So she just keeps going and going and going. Her weight was 104. So last year I got her all the way down to 98 grams and that was in the dead of winter. It could barely get her to do six, ten, six or ten feet. Um, she's doing 30 yards on her first call to the fist and not even blinking. So we're going to have to use your allowance and buy you a new transmitter. Uh, yeah, I just, God, I'm so excited. She just caught a stupid grasshopper, but you have no idea what this means. She's a proper kestrel. Yeah, I think she's actually, what I've seen so far, I actually, when this girl gets going and gets her confidence and really knows what she's supposed to do, which I think she always has known what she was supposed to do, she just hasn't had a chance to do it, um, I think she's going to be a little bit, maybe a lot of bit, gamier, gutsy, you know, full tilt, balls to the wall, coming in hot, more than Finley. Um, Finley's probably got the confidence. He's got too much confidence, actually. That's how he gets himself into trouble. But anyway, I just, oh gosh, this just makes me so happy. And she did, um, she stayed on the ground a little bit. And then she went up to this bush, which, you know, Finley does that. So I, I wouldn't say that it was actually carrying um, in its truest sense. So I wasn't too worried about that. Um, what I was worried, so she went into this bush right here. It has huge thorns on it and she still had the crayons on but I wanted it to be as natural as possible so I just kind of gave her some you know slack and some line and um I was worried about her getting all you know tied up and it being a really bad experience so um I was kind of grabby a little bit I don't think it bothered her but the second that I got her on the fist and she had her little grasshopper still in her foot um I tidbit her tidbitted her a lot um so, <laughs> yeah, you good girl. Tidbitted her a lot, so she just, you know, didn't think I was actually trying to steal from her, because I never have. Um, anyway, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. 
<laughs> Yay, Aelin! Well, you're probably wondering what happened with the rest of her season. About middle of December, which was probably about two or three weeks after she caught her first grasshopper, both kestrels were repeatedly nearly snatched by a resident Merlin. So I made the decision to put them both up for an early malt and get them out in the summer. So hopefully Aelin will be ready for her third flying season with me very soon. And a lot of good news to report. <laughs>